Hi, my name is Amber Weaver, and I'm a stay-at-home mother of three beautiful girls and a loving fiancé. I decided a few years ago I would like to pursue a career in photography, and my fiancé said I should go back to school and get a degree. So in the fall of 2013, I registered for my first semester. I chose Cecil College because it's not far from my home and has the programs that I needed. I received my first certificate and was published in a book from Photographers Forum magazine for being a finalist in the 2014 Best of College and High School Photography Contest in May of last year. I started working for another photographer as a second shooter for weddings in November of 2014. Then in December, I received three certificates, one for visual communications in photography lab, another for visual communications in basic photography, and the last was visual communications in portfolio production. I also shot my first solo wedding this past April. I will also receive another certificate and be published in a book again for another image sometime this month. I took Art 180 as one of my first classes and had a blast being creative. My first picture that was published was created during that time. Photography 101 was one of my favorite classes since I learned how to use my camera to its maximum potential and our assignments were fun and full of experiencing. In Studio One, I learned about lighting and posing. The class was very interesting, fun, and informative. I created my second picture that will be published this month based on what I learned from this class. In Digital Imaging 1 and 2, I learned how to use Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign more comfortably. My Nature and Wildlife Photography course is where I learned to look for details and to try several shots from different positions. These particular classes helped me to get even more interested in photography, to broaden my horizons, and to venture out beyond my comfort zone. I investigated the topic of color photography this semester in Capstone since I find it fascinating. I was led to this topic because I love color and how it really captivates me and connects me emotionally to an image or a set of images. I am interested in taking my photography to the next level by being more creative and learning new ways of incorporating color in my photography, either by making it more saturated, using splashes of color, or just selective colors. My project has changed throughout the course by giving me more insight on how to look at things and to come up with an idea instead of just shooting what I've confined. By writing, sketching, and researching topics, they can lead to a whole new perception, an idea. Why limit myself to only one type of photography when there are so many types out there to pursue? I love capturing candid shots, stage portraits, and things that I see every day, but may take it for granted. I would like to thank Mary Targonsky, Kit Abelt, Jenny Campbell, David Oldworld, and Kelly and Robert Walters for being very informative, fun, and creative. They were willing to go the extra mile and make learning interesting and enlightening. After graduation, I plan on waiting a few months before finding a career in photography, whether it be under another photographer or for a chain. I would like to get a few more years of experience before I venture out completely on my own. I haven't decided yet if I will pursue this full-time or part-time. In five years, I would like to be working on my own photography business, doing anything from portraits to weddings. I plan on getting my oldest daughter involved with me since she has a great interest in photography and does a really good job. I am happy to have had the opportunity to go to college and further my knowledge and my career in photography. Thank you.